How's it going? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Jeff Zaylor, Zaylor Properties. Episode 50 of ZP Live. Uh, wow. I uh, didn't think I'd actually stick to this for this long. Uh, our, our good old friend Mike Fondy was uh, on a good half of the first, uh, but it's been, it's been me for about 30 episodes. So looking forward to another 50 more and, and bringing everybody some content. So uh, for episode 50, didn't want to do anything. Um, well, I want to do something kind of fun, but uh, figured a market update was pretty appropriate now. We've seen kind of a shift is the wrong word, people. We've talked about this before, but we've seen a little bit of a shift in the market. So I want to kind of talk about the uh, the numbers here in the Las Vegas area, as well as uh, um, some, more, some more fun things that are going on with the other properties as, uh, as we look out to close out 2018 and start 2019. So without further ado, episode 50. Hey, Daphne, you know why I'm wearing a shirt today? Because we got yelled at last week for uh, for me wearing just a, a t-shirt while we we're out in the field. So I'm wearing a nice shirt. I, I'm not wearing a suit. I will never wear a suit for one of these things. So uh, that's why I'm wearing a shirt today because I got yelled at for looking like a slob last week from a, a follower that I don't even know. So thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm wearing a blue shirt for you today. Uh, okay, anyway, market update. So. Um, as we all know, the market's been strong. These numbers are from the end of August, so they're, they're pretty much hot off the presses here. Um, I'm gonna go through two numbers. I'm gonna go through the overall market, which includes condos, townhomes, and homes, as well as just the, the single family homes numbers. So obviously the single family home numbers are usually gonna be a little bit bigger, simply because it's a, you don't have the condos and the, the townhomes on there. So. Um, the median price at the end of August was $275,000 for all properties. That includes, like I said, condos, townhomes, and single family homes, all uh, resales as well as new construction, and $297,000 for uh, single family residences. So right around $300,000, that's actually a 13% year over year increase from August of last year. So in that regard, market overall in general up about 13%, which is pretty huge. So that's, that's something that's great. Uh, we're still seeing inventory kind of um, determine a lot of this price point. So our, our current inventory as of August 31st was 8,295 total units available for sale and only 6,342 of those were single family. So a majority of them were single family, but 6,342 uh, 6, single family. That's actually a 12% reduction from last year. So while I think when we did this about a year ago, I, we said inventory levels are down 30 to 40%. So we're still down lower than we were the year before, but it's not as much of a drop from 16 to 17, if you will, as 17 to 18. So that's something that you actually kind of pay attention to. Uh, number of closed sales through, uh, and this is as of the end of August, this is not year to date, but this is just the end of August. 3888 uh, closed units uh, overall, 2934 of those were single family properties, and that's actually 9.2% lower than last year. So inventory is less, and uh, closed sales is actually down at roughly 10% of where it was at the end of August. If we have less inventory, that actually kind of makes sense that we are going to have less sales. Days on the market, um, no real change from, from last year. The, the median days on the market for both uh, single family residences as well as all types of properties is still only 14 days, so two weeks. So half the properties on the mar uh, in town are, are on the market less than two weeks, half the properties are on the market over two weeks. So it's, uh, we don't really have a change, but in the last couple months, we've actually seen that as a slight uptick. Uh, if you want January, July, and, and June, those numbers were 12 or 13 or 11, 12, 13 days. So while it's been no change year over year, in the last couple months, we have seen a slight uptick. Um, pardon me. It's delays coffee time. Um, supply, we always talk about the supply of inventory. So what this means is basically, if we turn the faucet off on any new listings, how long it would take to sell all the properties, all 300 or excuse me, all 8,295 properties. Uh, right now, we're at uh, 2.3 months is, is kind of an uptick. Again, we've, uh, we were at 1.7, 1.8 months earlier this year. So we're at a slight uptick. Uh, slight uptick. It's still less than it was last year though. Uh, last year it was 8% higher, so that'd be you know closer to 2.6, 2.7 months at this time last year. So 
Uh, there's still less inventory, still shows it's a strong buyer's market, but if we look between the lines and between the numbers, we are seeing an uptick a little bit as much as between 1.7 months to 2.3. So that's you know, about two to three weeks difference is what we're seeing. So um, it would take a little bit longer to sell all the homes we have available, but we're still only talking 2.3 months. Um, you've heard me in uh, here talk about kind of five to six months it would be considered a neutral market so anything less than five six months is considered a seller's market anything more than that would be a buyer's market so based on this we're still in a seller's market as you can see but again i don't just look at the number i look at the trends and the, and the uptick so we're definitely seeing a, sl a slight uptick to a longer or a more more inventory if you will uh, the last number we've got here, uh, before we kind of talk about just some other things in, in, uh, in uh, what's going on with Zaylor Properties, is the overall dollar volume uh, in the multiple listing service. So this does not include every sale, this doesn't include private sales, doesn't in include all new construction, because some new construction is not in our MLS, but it's a gauge on kind of what's going on in, in, our, in, our, uh, in our market. So. Um, this past month of August, there were what, there's $1.24 billion worth of closed sales. 1.03 billion of that was new, or excuse me, was single family properties. That's up 7.7 .7 year over year. And I actually wanted to see where we were year to date compared to the first eight months last year. So uh, last year from January 1 to, uh, to August 31st, there was 8.04 billion. So, a little over eight billion dollars worth of sales, about a billion dollars a month um, through the first eight months. We've actually we're actually over nine billion year to date here. So that, again, that jives again roughly ten percent higher than we were year, uh, before. So we're looking at breaking that record. We were at over twelve billion last year. We're still trending to about thirteen billion, which I think in June when we ran these numbers, I kind of said we were at six and a half, uh, six and a half billion. So it's still really kind of close, and it's going to really show that we're really heading to that 13, 13 plus billion dollars for transactions for the multiple listing service uh, for for the year of two thousand eighteen, which would be um, I'm not sure if it's an all time record, but definitely a, a record that we are beating that is passing last year, which was a record for for at least the last 10, 12, 13 years or so. So those are our numbers, that's our market outlook. Um, again, things are, if you're looking at the numbers from, from an overall perspective, compared to 2017, which was a hot year, we're still higher than that, we're still exceeding that, prices are still higher, we're selling things quicker, all that stuff. But if you do look at the slight um, you know, variations in numbers from even May to, to August, we are seeing a little bit of a slowdown. We are seeing less sales, we're seeing you know, a little bit more inventory hit the market. Um, I know we look at weekly numbers, we've actually seen uh, quite a bit of price reductions lately in our market. Uh, roughly about 10%, 8% of the homes are, that are on the market are seeing price reductions on a kind of on a weekly basis. So that's something to keep, in t uh, keep your eyes on as, as you move forward. Uh, but yeah, that's it for our Las Vegas uh, market update. So uh, as I said, it's episode 50, I'm wearing a real shirt today. Um, but wanted to give a market update, but kind of give a, a Zaylor Properties update too. So after 50 episodes, we're kind of figuring this out. We're, uh, and we're excited to announce that uh, we will be in our own official new office space come October 1st. Uh, we, we've loved our, our time here at the, uh, at the in our executive suite, if you will, at, at Regis. Uh, but anybody who's actually been here and seen the, seen the tour knows we're, we're a little cramped for space. Uh, we've got basically two little dungeon-sized rooms that we have computers and desks and everything and piles and piles of stuff. So we're really excited. We're going to be taking over a great space just a few miles from here. Still going to be on the west side of town. We're going to be on Sahara in between Cimarron and Buffalo. Um, really looking forward to it. There's going to be plenty of space for, for all of us, plenty of space for storage. Um, not sure if we're going to have uh, soundproofing for Jason yet, but we're still going to try to look into that. Um, but we're excited. So if you're watching this and you are local, uh, definitely you'll, you'll see some updates from us. And, and definitely when we are uh, moved in, look forward to a uh, um, housewarming, office warming type uh, client appreciation party at our, at our new digs that we're, we're really excited about. So it should be our home for, well, according to the lease, for the next five years or so. We'll see if, uh, if they can contain us for that long. Uh, as we continue to grow, but uh, so we're excited about that. Um, my daughter's turning one next meet next week, so I'm excited about that. 
and uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're just happy to be to be uh, getting ready to be in our own space. So if, if we look a little frantic or look a little tired, it's because uh, on top of helping everybody out here, we're we're trying to figure out what our, our home away from home is going to look like for the next half a decade. Uh, as as my wife reminded me the other day, that if we do stay in that space through the end of our lease, our youngest daughter will be. Almost, it will be a year and a half older than our oldest daughter is now, and that kind of freaked me out a little bit. So, um, oh, one last thing. Speaking of, of updates and everything, love to uh, announce that after about a year or so, uh, our our website uh, www.zaylerproperties.com is actually back up and live. A uh, lot of a uh, lot of uh, hard efforts by uh, by Daphne and Sydney on that one, making it look uh, look great. So check it out, www.zaylerproperties.com. You'll be able to search the MLS on that site. It's going to take you to our partner site that has all the IDX stuff on there. Uh, kind of read updated bios on us, but we're also going to start doing a contest that we're going to announce in about a week or so. But if you're playing around on the website, you can actually find this hidden. Um, with a cookie, if you will, or whatever you call them. Uh, yeah, so there, there is something on our website that if you play around enough, you may be able to find where we're going to be talking about our, our giveaway. So uh, for, for those of you that, that want to play around on the website, um, you've got a, a kind of a week head start on before we announce it to, to start getting more entries. What we're going to do is we're going to be giving away uh, two tickets to a lower level, uh, great seats for the Golden Knights uh, that we're really excited about including parking and, and all that fun stuff. So uh, the details will be fully announced on that, like I said, in about a week, week and a half or so. Um, but if you're playing around on our website, www.zaylerproperties.com, you can get an early jump start on, on earning entries to that, um, to that contest. No purchase is necessary on that. I think I need to start talking about legal stuff. Uh, you don't have to be a client to enter. Um, anybody can basically enter, uh, get, get at least one free entry, and then uh, it is a referral contest, so we're looking to, to help other people as well. So um, again, play around on that website. We're excited about the website. We're so excited about our new office space and excited about making it to uh, episode 50 and, and continue to provide you guys content uh, from here on out. So. That's our market update. That's our Zaylor Properties update. Everybody have a great week. And until next week, Jeff Zaylor, Zaylor Properties, ZP Live, episode 50, signing off. Thanks.